Hello friends and welcome back to Red X, your source for the freshest daily Reddit content anywhere on the internet. Promise, swearsies, it's just a fact and it's totally science. Go ahead and look it up. <laughs> Today, we are not doing Reddit content. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a it's somewhat of a ruse. I found a BuzzFeed quiz that was being shared around in my Discord server that asks, how much of a neckbeard are you really? And the truth is, I, I'm not sure. I'd like to find out. I immerse myself in neckbeards every single day, so I assume that I'm somewhat of a neckbeard, but we'll have to see what this quiz has to say. I don't know if they necessarily agree with my definition of a neckbeard, what with the uh, self-entitlement and delusions of grandeur, but I guess we'll see what the public sentiment about a neckbeard might be. So with all that said, let's get some plugs and disclaimers out of the way, though I don't know how applicable the disclaimers are actually going to be today, since I'm the neckbeard in question. <laughs> and then we'll jump right into this neckbeard quiz, which might also provide some cringe. Post has not been vetted or endorsed by BuzzFeed's editorial staff. BuzzFeed community is a place where anyone can create posts or quiz. It feels like most BuzzFeed articles are just a place where anybody can create a post, doesn't it? <laughs> the level of quality is so low, they just churn out the content, but we're gonna we're gonna see what it's about today. How much of a neckbeard are you really? Every geek can be a little bit of a neckbeard. See how you fare on this quiz. And he puts a uh, <laughs> comic book guy right in the front. Worst idea ever. But I'm probably, by the end of this quiz, going to be saying, worst quiz ever. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I'm pretty skeptical even jumping into the thing. But we got to give it a chance. We got to see what it do. So let us uh, review some questions. You own a fedora. I don't. You own a trilby. I also don't. You know the difference between the two. Uh, I think I do, actually. I'm pretty sure it has something to do with the brim. Uh, fedora has, like, got a set brim and a trilby. You can, like, flip it down or something like that. And the trilby's got a lower cut across the eyes. So, actually, most neckbeards do prefer a trilby over a fedora because, you know, you can tip it down and look edgy. I have my hair to do that for me. I'm like, oh, just put it over one eye. I'm like, oh, my God, you guys. <laughs> I can't like it with the face cam. I'm not the most proud of my face, but uh, it offers a certain je ne sais quoi, does it not? <laughs> so I guess we have to tick the box there. All right. I do know the difference. You consider yourself a nice guy slash nice girl. God damn. Knowing the definition of a nice guy, definitely not. <laughs> but, like, if you're thinking of the, the regular definition that nice guys actually think that they are, oh, God, this is a mindfuck already. <laughs> like, I do consider myself to be a good person. Not necessarily a nice guy, but, yes, yeah, a, a good person overall. Uh, <laughs> I'm unsure how to respond. I'm just going to tick the box because I'm unsure how to respond. And I'm not scared of being labeled a neckbeard, okay? I am the neckbeard king for a reason, after all. I my neckbeard, baby. I shaved. But it's the beard on the inside that counts. It's a monster. <laughs> it's, it's, a monster. Like it's a monster. You gotta be careful, Bobby. Remember, Dad is buying your milk. Not anymore. <laughs> hey, speaking of it's the beard on the inside that counts, did y'all check out this t-shirt? Oh, snap. You can get it over at Teespring. It says, indeed, it's the beard on the inside that counts. I love to wear it all the time. It's super comfy and it looks awesome because it reminds me that uh, I can be a neck beard <laughs> even if I don't grow a beard because my wife hates beards. <laughs> <laughs> you believe that you have been friend-zoned at some point in your life. Yes, sort of. I gotta admit that I handle the friend-zone differently than a whole lot of people. Rather than trying to get out of it, you just go, okay, well, 
You're not exist. You're not interested in a romantic relationship. I guess I'll just be on my way instead of desperately trying to claw your way out and <laughs> be like, oh, I can change her. <laughs> That's creepy. So, yes, I do believe that the friend zone exists. I have been in it before, but usually my uh, approach is different. If I'm interested in a romantic relationship, then I make it clear from the outset. And if they're not interested, then I say, okay, my lady, have a good day. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and check that box too. It's because he or she was superficial. No, it's because they weren't interested in a romantic relationship. <laughs> That's fine. If they were superficial, if it was because of my looks or something, they didn't say that. And I'm not the type to presume that. You consider yourself a true gentleman <laughs> slash lady. These questions are so loaded, bro. I'm going to ask my wife. Darling, do you think I'm a true gentleman? Yeah. Shit. <laughs> well, my wife thinks I'm a true gentleman. Most of the time. Most of the time. Until I get in the bed. I get in the bed. <laughs> so I guess I'm going to have to check the box yet again. Uh, you have referred to a woman as milady? No. No. Not unless it's sarcastically. But it doesn't have the sarcastic modifier to it, so... Do I have to <laughs> do I have to check this one too? Oh no. I think I do. Oh god, dude, this is not going well. <laughs> this is not going well at all. Okay, you know what? Actually, I don't want to do this quiz anymore. <laughs> Pump the brakes. I'm done. Cut. <laughs> You've referred to a man as good sir again, sarcastically, but I, it doesn't qualify it. It's just like, have you done it? Yes, I've done it. It was sarcastic is my defense. <laughs> Damn it, dude. This is, this is a disaster already. You consider yourself quite chivalrous. Baby, am I quite chivalrous? What does chivalrous mean? You know, like, um, pull a chair out for you and open a door for you and do chivalrous things. Be honest. Yeah. Very rare. I'm not chivalrous. I'm not taking the L on this one. <laughs> you have a code of honor based on the medieval knight's code of chivalry. What the hell is that? <laughs> no, I don't think so. That's like dueling gentlemen and fighting for my lady's honor and shit like that. Would I slap a fucking dude that comes at my wife? Hell yeah. <laughs> But I'm not going to do it because of some code of chivalry. You do it because that's what humans do. <laughs> Just in general, be a human. You have, an, you have a code of honor based on Bushido. What is that? Loyalty to a master? Something like that? Man, no gods, no masters over here. We doing what we want. Ugh. Obviously, if I lived by the code of chivalry or Bushido, then I'd know what they are since i don't know what they are it's pretty obvious to say that i don't follow them i might do some things that fall in line with that but it's not because of the code you love anime no i think it's okay <laughs> i don't watch it very much honestly there's a couple of good animes out there but honestly i'd rather watch a trashy shit shit com <laughs> <laughs> a sitcom or, or, or a, a comedy show. I like anime. I think it's okay. I do not love anime. You own replica katanas, nunchucks, or shurikens for strictly decorative purposes. Oh, thank God. My wife was going to buy a sword to put by the door, so <laughs> we didn't buy the sword. Luckily, I'm unable to check this one, but... Not for lack of trying. <laughs> I gotta admit that having a katana by the door would be totally badass. I am open to the idea, but we need a katana that's not strictly for decorative purposes. Which is why we didn't buy it, you see? This is her home defense plan since she was totally adamantly against the idea of us buying a shotgun. Which is what I wanted to do. <laughs> <laughs> like, you get a shotgun, that's the best home defense. Boom, just blow up an entire hallway. 
You don't even need to aim. <laughs> Just point it in the general direction. I'm sure that debate will continue. But for right now, we don't own a katana or a shotgun. <laughs> oh, here comes one. You've used the term waifu or husbando. Husbando. <laughs> I've definitely used it before. It doesn't say, again, sarcastically or not, but <laughs> it counts. It counts. That is so unfortunate. Most of the points that I've gotten in this quiz have been sarcastic. That ain't fair. That's not fair. <laughs> but I'm trying to be as honest as possible with the quiz, myself, and you, lovely viewers. So <laughs> I guess I will take the L on that one. You have a body pillow of your waifu or husbando. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Will I ever? I, I mean, I print wifey's face on a pillow. I'm not opposed to it. But if you talk about my anime waifu, nah. It's not going to happen. <laughs> that actually gives me some great ideas for, for Mother's Day next year. I can print my body on a pillow. Oh, she's going to love it. She might even use it sometimes on the days that she ain't mad at me. <laughs> ah, you own wall scrolls and figurines of your waifu or husband. Oh, no, no. The only figurines I own are uh, Mario, Luigi, and Yoshi. And those are the only figurines that I want to own, honestly. <laughs> I'm, I'm big into Nintendo franchises, but I don't have a waifu there. You know, Princess Peach, doesn't count. Doesn't count. No, yeah, that's Mario's lady. Everybody knows that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't move in on his play, all right? I think you should get double points if you have figurines. Poster doesn't seem that bad. Wall scroll also probably is double points. But a poster? A poster? Come on, bro. Everybody's got posters. Except for me, because, you know, I didn't decorate the house. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm a 30 year old man and I'm too old for posters. Or, although I do have a wall scroll, technically, sort of. Oh. <laughs> My channel logo hanging on the wall. But it's not gotten to the point where I consider myself my own husband. -o. And if it does, then it's over. <laughs> I hope somebody will shoot me dead. <laughs> you love My Little Pony. Friendship is magic. No, 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 no. <laughs> I've watched maybe two episodes and I don't get it. Quite frankly, I do not get it. If some people out there like it, that's fine. I've said before, I don't trust bronies. <laughs> but I'm also not out here to like try and live your life for you. You know what I mean? If you like it, that's cool. You do you. You know what I mean? Hopefully you don't want to bang the horses or inflate them or all the other weird stuff that I've just seen related to My Little Pony. Oh, God! <laughs> that I might, you know, kind of judge. Just, just try and keep it under your hat. That's all I'm saying. You don't need to tell everybody about that part of it. <laughs> uh, you've... You own posters or figurines of My Little Pony characters. Oh, God. This just reminds me of the cum jar guy. <laughs> oh, God, no. I don't own either of those things, nor will I ever. If I ever own a poster, I'll probably give it to my daughter. Figurines, yeah. Give it to the kids. This is not an adult show for adults. And there might be some beards out there that would argue with me on that fact. But this is a hill that I will die on. <laughs> <laughs> you have attended an anime or My Little Pony convention. Oh, that anime one, that's pretty broad, okay? It's possible that I might have attended an anime convention in my life, but thankfully I, I haven't yet. I've, ha I've read some stories that make me think, huh, it sounds pretty cool, maybe I'd want to go. But now seeing this quiz, that would be another tick in the box, and, and I just can't do it. I don't know how much room, wiggle room I have here. <laughs> <laughs> How much can I actually afford to mess this up? Ugh. You've scoffed at cosplayers with risque outfits. Bro, I love cosplayers with risque outfits. <laughs> <laughs> they go in my thumbnails all the time. <laughs> I don't go and like search them out, follow them on Twitter or Instagram or anything. I'm not like one of them creeps, you know. 
But I think that's a real irony of neckbeards is that they will scoff at it. They'll be like, oh, that's so unladylike. <laughs> unladylike. <laughs> Unmaladylike. But then they'll go and stalk them on Instagram and be like, eh, why are you ignoring me, you bitch? <laughs> <sighs> Ah, oh, it's so over the top. I just can't anymore with these beers, man. What's going on? So again, I can't check the box. Dang. <laughs> we had a bit of a rough start, you know, but I, I think we're doing okay, all things considered. You got, uh, you are an atheist. I'm not. I'm agnostic. I prayed to uh, something. I ask something for help. <laughs> I do call the something Jesus. I do think that the something has affected my life positively. But yeah, I can safely say definitely not atheist. Despite not going to church or whatever, you can worship with yourself. That's agnostic. You are an angry atheist and go out of your way to belittle those who follow a religion. Ugh, this goes so against everything that I stand for, man. Let people be themselves, okay? It doesn't affect you. It doesn't matter. Just let them be happy, you know? I'll never understand this mindset. And honestly, most people who are like this won't even admit to it. They'll be like, oh, no, I'm I'm reasonable. I just engage in, in reasonable debate with people. <laughs> it's like, no, you don't, dude. Name calling is not the way that you start a debate. Ah, super cringy. <laughs> <laughs> this one is probably uh, worth the most points on the entire quiz. It is so bad. D never do this. You refer to Christianity and other religion as fairy tales. <laughs> uh, nope, nope, nope. The quiz writer also used the wrong uh, tales there. T-A-I-L-S. Which fairies don't even have tales. <laughs> They got wings, but they ain't got tails. And even if I did hear a religion getting referred to as a fairy tale, guess what? Fairy tales got a lot of good lessons. Maybe you should take that home and chew on it just a little bit. Talking about that lost mustard seed. Talking about that loaves and the fishes. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> they don't know what I'm talking about. They never read the Bible. They don't know why they hate it. They just do. Because they're, they're trying to fill out the neckbeard uh, BuzzFeed quiz. <laughs> I gotta check all the boxes, guys. <laughs> uh, oh, God. And they deserve it for being so weak-minded. No, definitely not. We're done. We're done. Goodbye. You consider yourself to be enlightened by your intelligence. Oh, God. I think I am going to have to check the box on this one. I mean, not that I'm like a super intelligent person, but we're smarter than animals. You know what I mean? We were able to build a society and do some awesome stuff, make computers. Is this specifically talking about my intelligence or the intelligence of humanity? Because obviously I'm a lot more impressed with the intelligence of humanity as a whole. But I also think that, you know, my relatively average intelligence has helped me succeed in my life. I'm just, I'm just going to check the box. I'm not going to think about it too much. Does it make me feel euphoric? Yes! I'm so euphoric, I'm living my best life right now. God, it's amazing. <laughs> I am euphoric in this moment, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> Richard Dawkins is your idol. I don't think that Richard Dawkins is my, my idol, hero, whatever. Those are really big words, man. <laughs> Somebody that I have read and have some respect for, but no. I don't do idolatry or, or fandoms or whatever you want to call it. I'm just like, hey, I like that guy. I could probably have a beer with him and just sit there and listen to whatever the hell he's talking about. I probably won't understand anything that's going on in the conversation. <laughs> uh, Bill Nye, Neil deGrasse Tyson, and Carl Sagan. Carl Sagan are all up there too. No, I, I'm not really into science guys. Especially Bill Nye. He's the science guyiest of them all. <laughs> uh, Bill! 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 No, I can't get behind it. Would I enjoy having a beer and discussing some things with them? Sure. But idols, heroes, I, 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 can't, I can't sign off on that. You think modern pop culture is what's wrong with society today? Bro, that's such a small-minded view. There's so much wrong with society today. Privatization of natural resources? 
governments going to war over said resources, everybody on the planet being chained into slavery by a monetary system. Yeah, but pop culture, that's that's what's actually <laughs> causing all of this. No, that's that's stupid. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I think modern pop culture uh, kind of glorifies ignorance. It's part of the problem, but it is not the problem. So let's let's read deeper into this. Is what's wrong with society today? It sounds like it's the singular thing that's wrong with society, at least from the way that I'm reading it. But I'm going to go ahead and check the box because I did point out something that's wrong with pop culture and how it affects society. Ignorance. You disdain the likes of Kanye West, Miley Cyrus, and other pop culture figures. I don't think disdain is the, the right word for it. <laughs> I listen to a lot of, of pop, you know? Kanye West is a banger, dude. Like, <laughs> I love everything that dude puts out. Miley Cyrus is objectively kind of trash, but I do like, like, Lady Gaga and Taylor Swift and, and brainless pop culture in general. Regarding my disdain for them as people, that's a deeper question. <laughs> I have a lot of disdain for people. Kanye West, he's like a, a sad sack, always feeling sorry for himself. Miley Cyrus is just like purposely trashy, trying to make her dad mad out here. Taylor Swift seems nice, but I think that that holds something darker behind it, you know? What was that, like Family Guy episode that basically nailed down Taylor Swift, so... Despite the fact that I listen to their music, I don't think there's anything wrong with their music as people. I'm gonna have to check the box. I mean, <laughs> it's very hard for me not to be disdainful of other public figures. That's why I don't follow my heroes on Twitter, because they're always talking about some dumb shit, you know? <laughs> That's probably why you shouldn't follow me on Twitter, because all I'm talking about is like cryptocurrency and stuff that interests me, but... Again, I, I am going to have to check the box, although I don't think it's for the reasons that the quiz author um, wants me to. You know what I mean? You feel that people who follow them tend to be stupid and or superficial. Oh, God, that's another one. <laughs> if your entire life and the decisions that you make are revolving around what one of these pop stars did, then yeah, you probably are pretty stupid or superficial. I, I think that comes with age. I think it's just because, like, I'm basically an old man. There was a time when I wanted to be exactly like the, the Danzig misfits and <laughs> do everything that they did. And looking back, I'm like, wow, that's, that's pretty dumb. <laughs> <laughs> and to have it happen with pop stars, I mean, ah, I just can't make an excuse for that. I have to check the box, okay? No hate against the people that enjoy these things, you know what I mean? That's, that's too much energy lost <laughs> for my taste. I'm not going to attack you about it or anything. But do I feel in my heart that they might be stupid or, or superficial? Yeah, I do. I got to be honest and say, yeah, I, I do. Oh, this is, this is not going well. This is turning around real quick. We got to the anime My Little Pony stuff. I'm like, haha, I don't check any of these boxes now that we're into music and politics. I am going to get wrecked. <laughs> uh, here we go. You have used the term sheeple seriously. Let me tell you a little story. Ron Paul was running for election in 2016. And boy, I believed in that libertarian movement when really Ron Paul just kind of dropped out. Take the money and run type of shit. <laughs> <laughs> but I have used the term sheeple seriously. I have used the phrase wake up seriously. As a matter of fact, Ramtide and I and a couple of other friends of ours actually had wake up written on a sign as like a, <laughs> a Ron Paul campaign sort of thing. We were young, okay? Those idealistic 20s. Ah, if, if they asked me if I used it within the, the past whatever five years <laughs> no definitely not i don't care much about politics anymore but the the idealism of the 20s man i think everybody goes through this phase where they feel like they're gonna change the world just by telling people that they're sheeple and they need to wake up <laughs> that's just not how it works as i came to find out you have used those two terms in the same sentence yep i i checked that box as well Jesus, I, I just got, oh, I don't feel good about this. Again, cut, I'm done. <laughs> I, I don't want to know the answer anymore. 
Oh, shit. Ugh. You have trolled someone. Trolling used to be an art, okay? So, yes, I, I have definitely trolled someone, but it was it was different back in the day. You need to understand. <laughs> You'd make a post that says, I'm 32 and my girlfriend is 13. Can we level together in World of Warcraft or are our levels too far apart? And then people only read the first part of the sentence and get enraged. <laughs> and those are the people that are taking the bait real good. Like, what do you mean your girlfriend's only 13? Uh, bro, I'm talking about level 13 in World of Warcraft. Everything's fine. It's all copacetic. That's one of the most beautiful trolls that I've ever seen. <laughs> I wish I could take credit for something that good. When I was in my trolling phase, it was uh, as a teenager, so it probably wasn't as good as I thought it was. But them's was the Wild West days of the internet, boy, let me tell you. <laughs> what a good time we had. I used to go into people's live journals, and if they had a comment box, I would embed uh, HTML that played the Wiggles fruit salad <laughs> just on loop. Uh, so I'd leave like a nice comment like, oh, I love your site, but secretly embedded in that comment, fruit salad, yummy, yummy. <laughs> so every time somebody would go to the page, uh, is that the kind of trolling that you mean? Because I, I did do that, and I love it. And I'm proud of it. <laughs> I make no apologies. The Wild West of the Internet. It was a beautiful thing. So click that box and, and I accept that one happily. You said you were just trolling in order to save face after getting flamed. Yeah, if I get flamed, I basically just leave the thread. <laughs> Maybe leave the entire forum depending on how bad the flaming is. I don't even know if people use forums anymore. It's mostly Discord at the moment. By the way, check out my Discord server. Yup, yup. Luckily, I think that flaming has mostly gone the way of the dinosaurs, especially in Discord servers when you're trying to, like, build a cohesive community. I, I mean, I'm sure it still happens on places like Kiwi Farms or whatever. <laughs> but yeah, if you say something stupid and get flamed, that's fine. Just move on. Accept what you said was wrong. I do it all the time in videos, okay? I sit here, I say dumb stuff off the cuff, and then people correct me in the comments, and I'm like, all right, <laughs> duly noted. I don't get upset or, like, say I was just trolling you in the video. That is that is something that teenagers or someone with a teenager mindset will tend to do. But even as a teenager, I, I don't think that I ever said that. I just kind of went, oh, what I said was dumb, I'll show myself the door. <laughs> And I still do that even today. So luckily, I cannot check that box. You have corrected someone's grammar on the internet. Oh, shit. I think I did it in this video <laughs> with the fairy tale thing. Ah, oh, crap. That's a definite check. <laughs> I do it all the time. You have done so to discredit their argument. No, that's about as basic as it gets. Don't bother with that. You could definitely correct someone's grammar as just like... You know, a friendly thing. <laughs> Be like, hey, you used the wrong one. Not necessarily to discredit an argument. Although, all-encompassing, I've probably done it like a few times in my entire internet career. But are we really going to count that? I guess we're going to count that. It doesn't have a specific time frame specified. So fine, I guess. <laughs> I'll just accept my fucking fate. You needed to discredit their argument because they were winning a debate. As I said, most of the time, I don't debate online. I walk away. I'm like, whatever, bro. <laughs> if it makes you feel better to have the last word, then you just have it. That's okay. It's exceptionally hard to win or lose a debate when you basically walk away once people get uh, upset and shit. Which has been my policy for... Just about as long as I've been on the internet. My favorite anecdote. <laughs> People ask me, Red X, how do you stay so cool and collected? And I'm like, well, I just don't really argue with people. I say yeah and let them think they're right. And then that dude's like, oh, that doesn't make any sense at all. And I'm like, yep, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Done. Congratulations, you won the debate. <laughs> how do you feel? Has it enriched your life in some way? Great job, you. You seek out arguments and debates online? No. I actively avoid arguments and debates online. Absolute waste of time. You have posted on 4chan. Well, 
It was a long, long time ago. <laughs> that was back when people used to get excited about gets. They're like, ooh, 5M get. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's just gone so completely out of control. It's so super mainstream and so many people are posting that gets don't mean anything anymore. And I think that's super sad. But also, yeah, I, I, I don't think 4chan is worth visiting these days, to be clear. But there was a time when I, when I found it pretty fun. And during that time, I did indeed post on B. I spent most of my time on 4chan on video games and music, but... <laughs> Every once in a while, you got to venture over to that B-board, see what them boys are doing. I can say, however, that I did not post porn on B. I'm not that guy. My Discord does have a pornos channel in it. I'm not opposed to people posting porn or anything like that, but when it comes to B, <laughs> there can be some very, very naughty types of things that get posted there. The kind of things that will have the FBI knocking on your door. <laughs> Do not click that picture. It is a honeypot, okay? At least that's that's my presumption. FBI party vans outside. <laughs> oh, you love Doritos. Damn it. <laughs> yes, I love Doritos. Ah, oh, Cool Ranch is the superior flavor for the record. Nacho cheese, it's not not so good. <laughs> not so good. I don't like it so much. <laughs> and then that spicy taco comes in like right in the middle. Those are the three flavors that uh, regularly come into this house. My wife also loves Doritos. We used to not buy them because like they're super expensive compared to chip alternatives here in the Philippines. But uh, I had to start doing it. I just missed it too much. <laughs> and now we're hooked. Now every time we go to the store, we come back with Doritos. And those Doritos are gone within the first half of the week. I blame the kids mostly. <laughs> I think that's just to preserve my own sanity. You love Mountain Dew. Oh, shit. I like Coke better, but I do, I do love Mountain Dew. I got so many Mountain Dews in the fridge right now, you wouldn't believe it. You've combined them with other foods, i.e. Mountain Dew marinated chicken or Doritos Sunday. Uh, uh, no, <laughs> I don't do that. I might if I, if I still smoked weed, but <laughs> I don't do that anymore either. Uh, and when I was actually smoking, I spent most of my money on weed, so... I didn't have much money for food, so I just learned to be high without getting the munchies. I would satiate myself by, uh, you know, playing some Vidya or something. Speaking of, you play MMORPGs. <gasps> God, it's a private WoW server called Atlantis. I'm sorry. TBC was <laughs> some of the best years of my life. The best years of my life. So I play uh, Retribution Paladin. <laughs> It's like the worst class to play. Everybody hates Ret Paladins. But yes, I, I do play MMOs probably probably once or twice per week. I do not devote six plus hours daily to MMORPGs. I devote six plus hours daily to making YouTube videos and, and having fun on Apex Legends or Fortnite. But yeah, there's no way that I could fit six plus hours into an MMO and still, you know, do my YouTube and sleep and all that other stuff I need to do. Be a father. <laughs> you know, that stuff. You feel that people who only play casual games shouldn't call themselves gamers. You mean like a phone game? Somebody sitting there playing Candy Crush and being like, oh yeah, I'm a gamer. I do kind of feel <laughs> again i'm not gonna attack you for it but i do kind of feel that you shouldn't oh god i don't want to check the box but i have to oh we skipped one you've used the term filthy casual seriously no not seriously because i am a filthy casual as much as i play wow and apex legends i'm pretty casual with it all things considered i have used the term sweat seriously dude this guy's such a fucking sweat <laughs> <laughs> and that's usually after he lasered me 10 seconds into the round, so... <laughs> I guess it's worth being called a sweat at that point, because really, you are winning. <laughs> Stay bad, noobs. <laughs> you are part of the PC Master Race. Oh, God, not anymore. I was, 
But then my computer died back in like October, before the channel even ever started to take off. So I'm on a laptop now. The only PC games that I've played lately are like Battle Brothers and Cook Serve Delicious. I think maybe some Project Zomboid too. If I was sitting here getting all sweaty over Apex Legends on the PC, then I'd definitely check this box, but considering I mostly play on the Switch, I, I don't consider myself part of the PC Master Race any longer. You've learned- you've used the term console peasant seriously. No, indeed not. Phone peasant? Yes. <laughs> Mobile phone peasants are out there, but if you got a console, like, yeah, you're still a gamer, dude. There's some good stuff on consoles that will never come to PC. I play Switch so much at this point in my life, so yeah, no, no console peasants, that's not a real thing. You know what a D10 is. It is a 10-sided dice. You know what DM stands for? That is a dungeon master. <laughs> I just can't seem to pull myself out of this hole. Ugh, Gaia's Cradle means something to you. No, it does not, thankfully. I mean, it's like Earth, you know? Maybe the Earth that we live on is like a cradle for the little baby humans or something. And, and Mother Gaia, I'm not even going to try. It didn't mean anything to me off the bat. I'm not going to try and give it any meaning so I can try and click the box. Because I've already clicked so many boxes that it's probably confirmed that I am indeed a neckbeard. You collect airsoft slash paintball slash nerf guns. No, is that a thing? <laughs> I hadn't considered that. I had a paintball gun when I was like 13, and it was pretty fun, but it got really expensive to play it every day, so <laughs> I never started collecting them. I probably could now, but now I mostly collect video games. You've been a victim of misandry. Misandry is out there. I will not make light of it, but I don't believe that I've ever been a victim of it. I'm surrounded by women in my life, uh, both my, my life in U.S. and life in the Philippines, and all those women have just been lovely towards me. I, I can't complain. You have, the, you have used the term white knight seriously. See, what is serious? Like, seriously, like, I am a white knight. <laughs> no, definitely. I've never done that, okay? <laughs> but if I've called somebody a white knight, been like, dude, that dude's white knighting so hard. I've said that on many an occasion. So, should I give myself some leeway? Should I not? I guess I'll go ahead and, and tick the box since I can't give myself like half a point. <laughs> and I don't know how it was actually meant by the creator. Ah, it's not looking good though. <laughs> I'm gonna get the high school on this one. They gotta show up and, and study me. <laughs> You've questioned someone, male or female, on their knowledge of geeky or gaming subjects. Nope. Never done it. Gatekeeping is not cool. I point it out every time that I see it, and it frustrates me just about every single time. I absolutely hate it when they're like, Ugh, you're not a real fan. Even if it's not geeky or gaming subjects. Like, you see a girl wearing a Metallica shirt, and you're like, name 10 songs. <laughs> like, bro, fuck off. I don't have to prove anything to you. What if I just like the shirt? Is that an affront to you? Are you going to throw yourself off this building? Then yes, I just like the shirt. Now do it. <laughs> uh, oh, get me, get me a little heated. Whew. You hate something, movie, game, etc., for lacking realistic physics. Oh my God, you guys, Ant Man had it all wrong. <laughs> no, I don't care. I understand that it is a movie or a game. The Matrix came out when I was little. I thought that was the coolest thing ever. And <laughs> if you're getting caught up in the physics, then you're uh. You're missing the point. You have severely criticized said thing on the internet. I guess if I didn't check one, I can't check the other. Ain't that right? You hate something, movie, game, etc. For not being 100% true to the source material. Now let me have a big think on that one. Honestly, I can't say that I have. I don't think. Being that upset about the plot of a movie or a game means being really invested, being a huge fan of the plot or the movie of the game or the movie that's that's being talked about. And as I said many times before, I am not a fan of things. I like a lot of stuff, but being a fan is just a bridge too far as far as I'm concerned because then you end up doing things like this and you're like, oh, that's horrible because, because. <laughs> it's like, dude, just, 
Just enjoy it. Enjoy the exposure that your franchise is getting. How about? But I know. But I know. That's that's so difficult to do. <laughs> oh boy. You have detailed the publisher slash director's wrongdoings on the internet. Oh, thank God. Again, no. No fandoms allowed, all right? <laughs> I am so not into it. I have pointed out crappy things in a movie before, but not because it wasn't true to the source material. Basically, for just being a crappy movie. I'm like, look at the acting in this scene. What is going on here? I don't usually like to talk about bad movies. Uh, I will usually talk about great movies because I like a, a little bit of positivity. You know what I mean? I spend most of the day rolling around in cringe and negativity. So when I get up, stand up, walk away from the computer, I turn on that TV and I'm like, let's laugh. Let's watch something fun. Let's just have, have some good times. I'm not there to be like super mega ultra critic. Be like, eh, Guardians of the Galaxy. I didn't like it because. And then I'll punch you in the mouth if you tell me that. Guardians of the Galaxy is, is a treasure. James Gunn is a national treasure. <laughs> oh, you hate something, movie, game, etc. for having a single plot hole. Not a single plot hole. It takes a lot of plot holes for me to finally give up on my suspension of disbelief. So I'm not going to check that box. If you said plot holes, then yes, I definitely checked that box. But a single plot hole, that ain't me, bro. Can't do it. We're ending strong here. We're not checking anything at the end, which I really like. Gives me some hope. <laughs> you have belittled said things fan base on the internet because of that. I don't belittle anybody on the internet. Even if they're doing horribly weird things, I walk away. I keep my judgment to myself. I encourage the nice things. I don't comment on the crappy things, <laughs> at least for the most part. Neckbeard stories are an exception. You have flamed someone for asking a stupid question online. No, I love stupid questions. I'm so sad that Yahoo Answers is dead. Do you understand how sad I am about Yahoo Answers? How am I going to find out how girl get pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, here's another one. They had to get me for just a minute before I was officially out of the woods. You identify as a libertarian. Yes, yes, I do. Okay. I just want gay people to be able to protect their pot farms with guns. Okay. <laughs> Is that so wrong? <sighs> And if you identify as a libertarian, you don't know what T-A-N-S-T-A-A-F-L stands for. That is, there ain't no such thing as a free lunch. If yes, you have no idea how the two are related. I, it's something to do with environmental policy. <laughs> I might be a libertarian, but I, I still know some stuff, all right? I might be dumb, but I ain't stupid, all right? <laughs> Someone has called you a neckbeard on the internet. Aw, oh, shit. Yeah, I, I've been called the neckbeard king by, by thousands of people. <laughs> I guess I have to check it. You physically have hair on your neck. No, my chin. I, I just have a little poof on my chin, but my neck is so clean. Look at that. Mm. Dang. Clean it up. So, uh, oh, boy. Let's, let's have a look through here, see... Oh my god, there's so much blue! There's so much blue! How did this happen? Oh no. We're gonna get called out. I might never publish this video. Okay! How much of a neckbeard are you really? You checked off 29 out of 72 on this list. You are just a little bit geeky. A bit scruffy. <laughs> but that's okay with you. You know how to have a good time without taking yourself or your beliefs too seriously. You're all about getting out there and having a good time. Well, that's accurate, I do think. I wonder if the, the quiz creator is like so positive about all of the things, you know? What if I check every single box, then is she gonna be horrified at the end? Is she gonna be like, dude, you need some help? Or is she gonna be like, you, you could, you know, you could still bring yourself back from the brink. <laughs> <laughs> There is a lot of neckbeardy stuff on here. The quiz creator does seem to know at least somewhat what they're talking about. They've sort of um, mashed it up with weeaboos, which I think is weird. But uh, I think they do hit a lot of the key points. I would add some stuff about, you know, 
being uh, self-entitled and having delusions of grandeur, but <laughs> usually people who have those things aren't self-aware enough to realize that they have those things. There are some things that saved me, though, you know? My computer breaking down, I would have I checked off PC Master Race. And what happens if we get 30 out of 72 or 30-something out of 72? Then, you know, you're over halfway. You check over half of these. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. But what if you check them all? <laughs> then something bad happens. You're a full-on neckbeard. So you might be that guy at times, but being a neckbeard doesn't automatically make you a bad person. You're extremely intelligent, passionate, and loyal. However, try not to take things so seriously. Wow. So yeah, the, the poll creator is just trying to be as positive as possible. Although she does have a good point. Being a neckbeard does not automatically make you a bad person. It's not something that ideally I would want to be. <laughs> but I've met my fair share of, of good neckbeards, you know what I mean? Look at Ramtide. He, he's the best neckbeard that I ever knew. <laughs> oh, Lord. So we're halfway to neckbeardery. I, I hope that I don't slip any further. I will be keeping an eye out for these things that were on the quiz just so I can make sure that I don't end up, uh, you know, screwing myself. Screwing myself super hard because we walk a fine line on this channel. We push the envelope. And that includes pushing the envelope regarding being a neckbeard myself. <laughs> but I hope that you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, I hope that you'll like, comment, and or subscribe. Yes, indeed. Maybe share the video around. I did leave a link in the description to the quiz if you want to take it for yourself. That will be super cool. We've also got other links in the description. My personal subreddit, r slash redxreads, wifey's channel, Mr. and Mrs. Redx. Teespring, if you're trying to rock the merch, like I said, the beard on the inside that counts. Look at this. Look at this. Don't you want this? God, that's so good. <laughs> We've also got my Amazon affiliate link. You can basically click through there. It does link to my microphone, but you can navigate away, buy basically anything else, and it kicks me a small percentage of what you buy. So that's a win-win. I also got social medias down there, Facebook, Twitter, Discord. Oh, and how could I almost fake forget my gorgeous, wonderful, beautiful, generous patrons? You're seeing some names on the screen. I'd like to thank them all, but especially Zero MMX, Lady Nix, Robert Waite, Cider Drinker, Tato Fair, The Last Shinobi, Mark211, Aaron W. Mitch, John Hero, Candy Sora, Fire Drake, Little Lone Wolf, Miss Monday, Silent Revolver, J.M. Coon, Leon Embers, T.S.M. Kirby, Redwind, Synaptic Boomstick, Jerry, Staples Yeet, Cake Jerry, Nat One Nick, Tamago, That Big Delicious Jelly Donut, Liverson, Oh, and James is in here. James Cook, you might see him in the comments once in a while. This boy, he been an OG on the channel. I'm glad to see you uh, coming up on the Patreon, man. Definitely massively appreciated. Thank you for joining the crew. I don't think I have to worry about this video getting demonetized necessarily, but it does happen from time to time. So if you could support these lovely people in helping to support me, that would be absolutely huge. I thank you very, very much in advance. But if you can't right now, don't sweat it too hard, friends. I just appreciate you coming on through, hanging out with me, and I hope that you come on back and hang out with me again tomorrow. Because really, the views is how my beard stays so bothered. <laughs> In order to join us, you need to wash your hands, keep yourself safe out there, but also take some time out and do something that you personally enjoy today. Maybe taking some neck beard BuzzFeed quizzes. <laughs> <laughs> or watch a Red X, your choice. <laughs> Always remember, friends, that you are loved, you are worthy, and you definitely, definitely deserve it. I will see you in the next one, and until then, bye-bye.